If there's one vehicle we get asked about all the time here at Headlight Revolution, it's the 07 to 13 Silverados. There's a ton of them on the road today, and you guys are wondering what the best headlights and reverse lights are for these things. We just got done doing an insane headlight video, and this video is all about the rear of the truck. We're gonna show you guys the best possible reverse lights, cargo lights, license plate lights, and I'm gonna show you how to install the license plate bracket from Xenon Depot. So follow me, let's get started. Now, I just got done installing one of these on my own personal truck, and I could not believe the impact it had when I clicked my truck into reverse for the first time. I already had the 1000 lumen reverse lights, and then I did the Morimoto XB tail lights, and this Xenon Depot license plate light paired with those is absolutely insane. Puts the reverse light exactly where you need it, and if you couldn't see it night before, you certainly can now. Now the first thing we're gonna be installing today is the license plate bracket from Xenon Depot, and it goes on extremely simply. On these Chevys, they've got two bolts here holding the license plate on. Go ahead and remove those. At this point, you can run the wiring through this opening here. It's nice, these Silverados have such a large opening in the bumper, you can pass the wiring through behind the license plate without drilling any holes. Pull the excess wire through, set the plate bracket over your factory license plate, and reinstall your mounting screws. Go ahead and snug the screws up at this time. Now at this point what we need to do is run our wiring for the plate bracket itself up to the tail light to connect to the reverse light circuit. Now we've had people ask in the comments why we don't simply connect to the seven pin connector. And on some trucks you can connect to that. On others, some of the more modern Fords you can't. It'll throw an error in the dash. And not every truck has this seven pin connector with the reverse light circuit. Not only that, you have to lay on your back to connect to it. Whereas we're already gonna upgrade the tail lights anyways, it's easier for me to just show you guys how to do that. Now while you're down here, it makes sense to upgrade your license plate lights at the exact same time. Now a lot of people don't realize the benefit these bulbs can have in the license plate slot on your vehicle. They do more than just illuminate the license plate itself. If you're hooking up a trailer at night, you're trying to hook up your safety chains, plug in your seven pin connector, these will be on. They'll illuminate your work area. They're very useful to have. Now what I love about the Chevy license plate lights is they just pop toward you. If you grab onto it like this, you can pop it right out of the bumper. You don't even have to get dirty. Twist this counterclockwise, and you'll see your factory halogen light. Pop that out. And today we're installing the GTR Lighting 6 LED bulbs. They're the best bulb you can get that'll still fit in these housings. There's a lot of options out there. Some of them are too big and you can't get it reinstalled. And this one fits perfectly. Angle it back into the bumper, click it in place. Do the same thing for the driver's side. Now that we've got the Xenon Depot plate light installed, we've got the license plate lights themselves upgraded, we need to pop a tail light out to upgrade the reverse lights and also connect that wiring too. Drop the tailgate. You're gonna see two Phillips screws here, one on top, one on bottom. Go ahead and remove the screws. With the screws removed, pop the tail light out. You can just pull it toward you. And you're gonna see three plugs on the back. Now I don't want this tail light just dangling here scratching up the paint on the truck. So I'm gonna remove these bulbs and set the tail light itself off to the side. Cause I need to run that Xenon Depot plate wiring up here. Now our goal here is gonna be to run that new wiring up, follow the factory harness and get it to our reverse light bulb here. We'll tie into the wiring in a little bit. Go ahead and run your new wiring along the back side of the bumper, just like that. Keep it out of the way of anything that could chafe it or damage it. And if you're crouched down by the tail light opening, you can actually reach your arm up and pass your new wiring up through that opening, right alongside that factory harness. Now after we connect this wire, you're gonna wanna run through and zip tie it up. Make sure it's not rubbing up against anything that could damage it. Now this middle bulb here is your reverse light itself, and as you're gonna see, there's three wires going into it. Two of them are black, one of them is green. I've already tested these wires, and on this particular truck, the green wire is our positive 12 volt lead when this truck is in reverse, and the black wire is our ground. You should always test this on your own first just to make sure you're connecting to the right wiring. Now, since we know these are the wires we wanna tie into, we can strip them back. There are many different ways to connect to wiring today. I'm gonna to solder. You could use T-taps, you can use whatever you got at home to make this connection. Now you want to take your red wire coming from the Xenon Depot harness, connect that to the green, and connect the black wire to the factory black wire. 
go ahead and solder up your wiring. With the wires connected, soldered up, I'm gonna tape them just to keep them nice and protected from corrosion. And what you'll find is you can usually tuck this wiring back into the factory loom for the most part, which is nice. It prevents it from any chafing or possible damage it could encounter behind the tail light. Now usually what I'll do at this point is just throw a little bit of tape on the loom itself. It makes everything look a little bit more factory and once again we're just trying to prevent any possible damage or chafing to this wiring. At this point you can reinstall your brake light bulbs. Go ahead and twist them back into the socket. Now this is one of my favorite upgrades here at Headlight Revolution. When this product came out it changed everything when it comes to reverse lights. It is the 1000 lumen reverse light from GTR Lighting. Look at this monster. It's got a silicon grommet on it. It pressure fits into the taillight itself. And these things are almost impossible to keep in stock. You guys buy them up like crazy. They press fit in like this. And as you're about to see in a second, they're almost as bright as the headlights we installed in this truck yesterday. Should look just like that when you're done. After you've done this, you can reinstall your taillight and we can move on to the cargo lights. The license plate lights have been done, the reverse lights are upgraded, we've got our wiring connected for the Z9 Depot plate light, but there's one thing left, and a lot of people seem to forget to do the cargo lights. They're an amazing upgrade on these Chevys, especially on these trucks. When you park the truck or when you unlock it, it turns the cargo lights on, and they're that dainty, ugly yellow. This is a great way to dress the truck up, and it's super useful. If you've ever loaded anything into your bed at night, you definitely want a set of these. Installing them super easy. Now upgrading the cargo lights is extremely simple on these Silverados. There's two Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove those. Set the screws off to the side. There's no clips or anything for these. They just want to pop right out. And the bulbs we're changing today are these outer bulbs here. One on the left, one on the far right. The middle ones are a third brake light. We do have products for those. If you want them, you can send us an email to sales at headlightrevolution.com. This video is just about the white, bright, reverse, and cargo lights. Turn the bulb socket counterclockwise. Pop the bulb out. Remove your factory halogen bulb. And today we're gonna to be installing the GTR Lighting 10 LED cargo light bulbs. Now these things are very similar to what we installed in the license plate lights. They're just a little bit longer with a little more power behind them and they really do a good job in these housings. Twist it back in place, do the same thing for this one. Go ahead and reinstall the screws. Now that we've got the whole rear of the truck upgraded, let's turn the lights down and see how much brighter this thing really is. I have to say I love insane improvements like the one you guys just saw today. This truck came in super dim. When you put it in reverse, you couldn't see anything behind you. And now it's got the brightest possible reverse lights from GTR Lighting. That Xenon Depot license plate bracket is insane. And the cargo lights are going to do a lot for this guy when he needs them at night. Now, if you need anything else for your Silverado, we just got done doing a crazy headlight shootout, a crazy headlight upgrade. Click subscribe below. We've got a lot of new video content coming out for these Silverados and you don't want to miss any of them.